Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's having as good day or night as possible um, all around the world. And um, hi, if you're new here to my channel, uh, my name's Rebecca and I love talking about travel and lifestyle. Please subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed uh, to join my squad and a big thank you for doing that. Don't forget also to press the thumbs up button. That would be absolutely fantastic, amazing and big thank you. Now today's video is Travel News UK 10 Exciting Facts June 2023 Part 2. So I'm going to uh, go into fire away with the BBC News Trans at Pennine Express staff shortage blamed for essential only travel warning and um, the train operator says um, a reduced uh, number of services will run uh, from uh, today, Friday, due to operational issues. Um, so that's uh, again quite bad news, but I hope they can sort the, the staff problem out as soon as possible and uh, get back to normal hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed um, number two the daily express a uh, beautiful quiet seaside town is one of the uk's best uh, with great character beautiful and quiet seaside town has been crowned one of the best uh, all in the uk and um, has gained the, uh, the seventh best in the UK by which so it's been crowned the, the seventh best seaside resort in the UK uh, from which uh, travel and seaside town is da 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 Oldieberg Oldieberg I think that's how you pronounce it um, it's in Suffolk um, Northumberland's Bambra took the top spot um, which I've been to and um, it's absolutely amazing ba at Bambra it's got a castle and a lovely beach and it's just a really lo a lovely town to, vi to visit so I really recommend it and I have got a a video out on Bamba Castle if you look under my um, a, a Northumberland uh, playlist uh, then it it will feature there I haven't actually been inside a Bamba Castle but when I go again um, I hope to go to uh, inside a Bamba Castle but the um, all around it is absolutely fantastically really beautiful and I really recommend anybody that hasn't visited to visit um, so moving on to number three uh, gov.uk um, over 200 million to help uh, UK lead leading the way for a greener air travel so that's a, a absolutely fantastic so um, it's more environmentally friendly um, as well so And uh, number four, um, partying, but uh, not for profit, two ethical musical uh, festivals in the UK. Um, so partying, but it's not for profit. Um, and two exciting ethical musical festivals in the UK. Number one is... Um, Ant Hill at Bedfordshire which is a weekend of pop, rock, 
and classical music and at number two uh, Madison and um, in Reading UK which is international music festival so those uh, sound absolutely um, fantastic um, if you don't want to pay at uh, large prices um, like say to go to uh, Glastonbury, Reading etc their music festivals but they don't have a profit uh, finally last but not least the Daily Express allows you to vote uh, for your favourite holiday destination in the UK or it allows you to vote for your favourite um, holiday destination that is British so I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'm going out uh, tonight um, around my local uh, town at night to see some friends and um, I'm also going out tomorrow night and um, I've had an exciting week off work uh, making these videos uh, really enjoy it also I've been gardening and shopping um, getting some bits and pieces um, and helping at home with the washing up um, so etc so i hope that you have as good weekend as possible and thank you and bye for now thank you and i'll see you for another improvement updates and more video which will feature on sunday so have as good time as possible and thank you and bye for now thank you bye